What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of TVP Versus, comparing the best and the worst of Las Vegas head to head to see who ultimately reigns supreme. Now, in today's episode, we have a highly anticipated battle. We have the Battle of City Center, where we have the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas going up against its neighbor at the Aria Resort and Casino. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button to join the TVP fam and make sure to turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any content that's uploaded to the channel. Now, Aria and Cosmopolitan are two of the most popular hotels in all of Vegas. They're in the middle of the strip. They're five star properties. And as many people know on this channel, there are my top two favorite hotels. Now we have the Aria Corner Suite Strip View versus the Cosmo Wraparound Terrace Suite, which are two of the most popular suites at these hotels that people love to stay at. So let's take a look at these suites. Walking into the Aria suite, once you come in, you come into your entryway, you've got a nice space entryway, you can see some decor and parts of the room, looks like it's a really nice luxury room. Walking into the Cosmo suite, once you walk in, you'll come into a good entryway space, you've got a long hallway, but you can't really see what you're walking into, so it might draw some suspense to some people. Um, so as we always do in these verses, we'll always start off with the wild factor. In this particular case, I'll give the edge to Aria for the wild factor as far as the entryway goes, just because you can see part of the room but some people like suspense so that suspense at the cosmo suite may actually intrigue some people but let's check out the bathrooms to the right of the entryway in the aria suite you do have a half bathroom so you've got a, a ring light and a single vanity sink with your toilet and then as you make your way over into the master bathroom because there are one and a half bathrooms in this suite um your first behind the first frosted door you have a water closet so you have your toilet with a bidet um, you also have dual vanity sinks for his and her sinks with a big mirror and a bright light and you also have a vanity mirror off to the side behind the second tempered glass doors is your walk-in shower so you have a really nice clean walk-in shower you also have a bench so you can sit down and utilize that if need be and off to the side you do have your soaking tub that can also be turned into a jacuzzi tub with a flat screen tv across and great views in front of you in the cosmo suite once you get to the end of the walkway you will come off to the right to a full bathroom so you've got your mirror above a single vanity sink have your toilet off to the side you actually have an accent graffiti wall which is a signature of cosmo and then you have a walk-in shower so you've got a nice walk-in shower and then once you go into to the master bedroom you have a second full bathroom this one includes a soaking tub and you have single vanity sinks on opposite sides of the shower there you've got some shelving to store things in the middle of the single vanity sinks you have an additional walk-in shower so it does seem like the walk-in shower may be bigger in the other bathroom also could be designed this is your second vanity sink so you do have his and hers and then off to the side you have a walk-in closet so simply put, if you've got big groups, the Cosmo Suite is going to work out the best for you because you have two full bathrooms compared to Aria Suite where you have one and a half bathrooms. You just can't beat two full bathrooms, so not much need to say about that. Now let's check out the bedroom in the closet space. In the Aria Suite, once you walk into the bedroom, you'll see your bed and then next to the bed, you have a tablet where you can control the lighting and the drapes and the shears. And as many people are familiar with this beautiful photo, you get this beautiful view of the strip from your bed. You do have lamps on both sides and then once you're across you can see you have a nice comfortable bed over to the right of the bed you have your closet where you have a robe hangers and you have an in-room safe to lock up your valuables in the cosmo suite once you walk into the bedroom you'll see that it has two sides to go into the bathroom but you also have a chair off to the side you've got a nice king bed with tempered window above it and a flat screen tv off to the side in the bathroom is where you'll find your closet so you have extra linens if you have guests you also have your robes and then same as well you have an in-room safe and slippers with the iron below so both of these suites have very nice bedroom spaces the aria suite is going to stand out to most people simply because when you wake up in the morning you have such a panoramic view of the strip from your bed and i'm sure most people love that view both of the beds are comfortable both of their closets basically are the same size have the same amenities but this is a versus so just off of the eye test we'll give the bedroom edge to the aria because that view is amazing to wake up to 
Now let's check out the entertainment space. Entering the main part of the Aria suite, off to the right you do have a dining room table for three. Next to that is your wet bar space. Up above you do have some snacks that you can purchase. And then down below you have a mini refrigerator that is stocked with alcohol for purchase. Next to that you do have an empty mini refrigerator to keep drinks cool so that it'll be convenient. And then above that is where you have your ice bucket and cups. Off to the side is your living room space so you do have a couch but this couch is not a pull out bed just a regular couch. Across from that is a flat screen TV and then beside your couch you do have a tablet to control the temperature and to open the drapes and the shears so that is very convenient for those who want to use some of the tech features. You do have a desk space so if you're in town you can do some work and it does come with the connectivity panel to hook up your media devices. In the Cosmo suite, you do have your living room and dining room space as well. In the dining room area, you do have a table for four, so you've got an extra chair if you have extra guests. You also have a wet bar space, so it does have a sink. You've got your ice bucket and cups. And then off to the side, you have a mini bar area where you can purchase some snacks as well as a mini refrigerator with the drinks below. Beside that, you also have an empty mini refrigerator to keep your drinks cool if you have some. And then you also have a wine cellar. So if you drink wine or have champagne, that'll be convenient for that. You also have some bar stools above. Then making your way on over into the living room, you do have a sectional couch. It's not a pullout bed on this couch as well, but does seat a lot of people. You also have a flat screen TV and there is also a tablet so that you can control the room temperature like the lighting and all of that. So both of these suites have very nice entertainment spaces. Um, just from the feel of the layout, the Cosmo suite does feel bigger. You do have a dining room table in both suites. You have three chairs in the Aria suite, but you have four in the Cosmo suite. You have your mini bar space in the Aria suite, but you do get a wet bar space in the Cosmo. So that kind of gives more space in a bigger feel. It does give you more options, especially for those wine and champagne drinkers. And then they both have a living room space, but the Cosmo suite does feel a little bit bigger because the sectional couch kind of wraps around in a U shape versus the Aria suite, which is just a regular couch with no pullout. The Cosmo suite doesn't have a pullout either, but you do have more space. So we'll say for dining and entertainment, you do get the edge at the Cosmo. So last, let's check out the views. In the Aria suite from the living room, you get a beautiful strip view. You get to see city center parts of the strip. Absolutely beautiful. That carries on over into the bedroom space and it wraps around all the way into the bathroom. So you truly get spectacular views. With the Cosmo suite being a terrace suite, you do have a balcony. So you'll also get strip views, but you'll be able to see more of the strip with these views. So you can step outside, see the strip as well from the other side of the terrace you can see cosmo and city center as well as the marquee day club pool and the hotel pool both of these suites offer beautiful views the aria is going to give you strip views all throughout the suite but with that said the cosmo is going to give you strip views and beyond and the fact that you have a balcony you can actually take in those views along with great weather so those are my breakdowns on both of those suites but this is a versus and we have a scorecard to determine winner in these verses so let's pull out the scorecard break down the comparisons and let's determine the winner for this battle first on the scorecard we have size the aria corner suite is 920 square feet compared to the cosmopolitan's wraparound suite which is 1200 square feet plus an additional 410 square feet because of the terrace. So the edge for size is gonna go to the Cosmo. Next on the scorecard, we have location. Now, both of these hotels are in the middle of the strip. It doesn't matter which hotel you stay at, you're gonna be in a great location, but this is a versus and this is a battle. And when we talk about location, the Bellagio is the center of the strip. And if you're in front of the Bellagio, to the left would be the Cosmopolitan, and then beside that would be the Aria. So by a matter of location, and the neighboring property, the edge for location will go to Cosmo. Third on the scorecard, we have price. Now for pricing in this versus, I picked three random weekends and three random months. And for the first random weekend, it was in July. The second random weekend was in September. And the third random weekend was in December. For the weekend in July, the Aria Corner Suite was $2,942.21 which breaks down to $981 a night. The Cosmo Suite was $2,341.29, which breaks down to $781 a night. So for the first random weekend, the edge will go to the Cosmo. The second random weekend was in September. The Aria Corner Suite was $2,771.01, which breaks down to $924 a night. The Cosmopolitan Suite was $2,738.12, 
which breaks down to $913 a night. So for the second random weekend, the edge will go to the Cosmo. The third random weekend was in December. The Aria Corner Suite was $2,209.78, which breaks down to $737 a night. The Cosmo Wraparound Suite was $1,536.30, which breaks down to $513 a night. So the third random weekend and the winner for the price point of this scorecard would be the Cosmo Wraparound Suite. Next on the scorecard, we have amenities. Now both of these suites offer a lot of amenities to guests who stay there, so you won't lose either way. With the Aria suite, you do have a tablet that gives you more tech features so you can control the drapes and the shears from just about every room with the tablet. You also have a mini bar that's stocked with drinks and you also have an empty mini refrigerator dining room table. You've got a soaking tub that can turn into a jacuzzi tub, so that will appeal to a lot of people. But with that said, the Cosmo suite just offers more. You have two full bathrooms. You actually have a wet bar so you can have a party and be a bartender. You've got an empty mini refrigerator as well, as well as a mini fridge that's stocked with your liquor. You have a wine cellar. The dining room table offers more. The living room has space. And of course, there's a balcony. And that's just pretty much hard to beat. So when it comes to amenities, the edge is going to go to the Cosmopolitan. Last on the scorecard, we have views. Now both of these suites offer beautiful views. You have pretty much a panoramic view from the Aria suite of nothing but the strip. Absolutely beautiful, especially with floor to ceiling windows. But at the same time, you get multiple strip views from the Cosmo suite. Not only that, you can actually see the Aria from Cosmo as well as a pool of the pool party and the hotel pool from a balcony at that. So both of these suites give you better views. When it comes down to it, you're gonna get the best views from the Cosmo. So the edge for views on the scorecard will go to the Cosmo. I love both of these hotels. These are my two favorite hotels in Vegas. And I really hate to see a landslide in the scorecard. But the winner of this versus is going to go to the Cosmo. The truth of the matter is if you stay at either one of these suites, you won't go wrong. They're both beautiful suites. They both offer a lot and they're both going to give you a life changing experience compared to a lot of suites on the Vegas Strip and off of the Vegas Strip. But this is a versus so we had to put them head to head. Some people will prefer to stay at the Aria suite simply because of the view from the bedroom. Some people will probably want to just sleep and wake up to that view all day and night. I'm pretty sure most people will prefer to have the Cosmo suite because most people are going to want to take a balcony. Comment your thoughts below. Let me know who you thought won this versus and let me know what you thought about both of these suites. And that's going to do it for this video. If you all enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, thanks for watching.